Year 10 and 11, welcome to your AQA English Language Paper 1 revision video and this will focus on question 1. In this exam you are presented with an unseen extract from a novel or a short story from the 20th of the 21st century. The whole purpose of this paper is to focus on descriptive writing and how the writer captures the reader's interest. Your assessment objectives are as follows and then I'll show you the weightings of those in terms of the paper. Assessment objective one is to identify, interpret explicit and implicit information and ideas, to select and synthesize evidence from different texts. Assessment objective two is to explain comment on and analyse how writers use language and structure to achieve effects and influence readers using relevant subject terminology to support their views. We skip assessment objective three because you aren't assessed on that in paper one, you are assessed on that in paper two. So we move straight to assessment objective four. And assessment objective four states that you have to evaluate texts critically and support this with appropriate textual references. Assessment objectives five and six here are going to apply to the writing section of, section of paper one. And they are communicate clearly, effectively and imaginatively, selecting and adapting tone, style and register for different forms, purposes and audiences. Organise information and ideas using structural and grammatical features to support coherence and cohesion of texts. Use a range of vocabulary and sentence structures for clarity, purpose and effect with accurate spelling and punctuation. Your weightings then for paper one are outlined at the top. So you can see that EO1 is for four marks and it's only worth two and a half percent. EO2 in total is worth 16 marks for 10%. EO4 is 12.5% at 20 marks. EO5 and EO6 are slightly bigger there with 24 and 16 marks, 15 and 10%. So you can see your weightings there and, and to a certain extent that will dictate your timings. So we know on question one, we really only need to be spending about five minutes and we're going to look at question one in more detail now. And just for final clarification, the assessment objectives for paper one section A are as followed are as follows and in this sequence. So EO1 is for four marks, then you get EO2 which is for 16 marks and that is two separate questions, both resulting in eight marks. And then EO4 is obviously there, your bigger question and that is for 20 marks. So before we begin question one, to be completely clear, your assessment objective is to identify in and interpret explicit and implicit information and ideas. Now, if anybody's worried about what those words mean, then explicit means something that is very clear, something that is very obvious in the text. Whereas implicit is the opposite of that. And implicit is something that is perhaps hidden in the text, embedded in the text, and isn't quite as clear or quite as obvious. It might be something that's very indirect, as I say, hidden. And then secondly there, select and synthesise evidence from the text. Well, that's straightforward, isn't it, that you need to actually have evidence from the text um, in your answer. Obviously, we can't just be making things up. This is for four marks, two and a half percent. So we know we shouldn't be spending a great deal of time on this question. Now, let's have a look at an example question. I'm going to be using Jekyll and Hyde here, um, just because it, it's quite popular, people have read it. Um, and it, remember, this is just for practice. So if we use this section as our passage, or the passage we're going to be answering about, in brackets at the top there, we are told in this passage, the inventive Dr. Jekyll encounters for the first time his evil doppelganger, Mr. Hyde. Now, the extract is going to be longer, probably it's around, I don't know, 40 to 50 lines long. I've given you the first two paragraphs, otherwise it'll be way too much to read on the screen. 
because our first question is going to only focus on there. Now, question one will direct you to a certain amount of lines. So for instance, it might say from lines one to 17, what do we learn about the weather? Or in lines 10 to 20, what do we learn about Frankenstein? Use the lines that you are given and ensure that you are answering the question. If it is asking you about Frankenstein's creature, and then that's what you need to ensure you are writing about. If it is asking you about the weather, then stick to that topic. In this case, you are going to be asked a question about Dr. Jekyll, which I shall show you in a minute. So first of all, we need to read this section. You don't need it to, me to read it out. So just have a few minutes, either pause the video and read through it and read through it carefully before we look at question one. I hope you pause the video there to ensure that you've read the extract. As I say, I wasn't going to read it to you. Question one, list four things we learn about Dr. Jekyll from the first two paragraphs. Now, I've given you a, a little bit more in terms of lines used, two paragraphs. You won't get that much. As I say, you'll probably get 15, 16, 17 lines. But it's just because we're practising. Now, naturally, we need here to do four very simple things in a list. It's four marks, it's two and a half percent. This should take you five minutes. The wonderful news about this question and the reason you shouldn't really get it wrong is because quoting and paraphrasing from the text is accepted. So actually, you can use lines from the text word for word. This is why we should always be getting four marks on this question because it's straightforward. We read the text, we find the four things and we can put them word for word. If we look back at the text then, list four things about Dr. Jekyll. Pause the video, test yourself. Can you find four things that we find out about his character here? Have a look. I've just underlined there and made bold and put in red things we might have used that we find out about him in this, this section where he comes face to face with Mr Hyde. Um, I knew well that I risked death. I long since prepared my tincture. Would that mean solution if you didn't know that word? There was something strange in my sen sensations, something indescribably new. I felt younger, lighter, happier in body. I knew myself at the first breath of this new life to be more wicked. I was suddenly aware that I had lost in stature. So I've done about six suggestions there, but you only needed four. And as I say, you can write that word for word or paraphrase. Very straightforward question. Don't waste too long on it. As I say, five minutes is enough. And then move on. Please make sure you use the section of the extract outlined. So if it says lines one to 17, only use those. If it says paragraph two, only use that and ensure that you are answering the question given. In this case, Dr. Jekyll. I hope this video has been useful. Uh, please check out my YouTube channel for any more videos. That's Stacey Ray, S-T-A-C-E-Y, R-E-A-Y for Ray and good luck in your English language exam.